Hey everybody, this is Dr. Chris Nelson here again, and today I'm going to show you a really interesting case that is from a cheerleading accident. So this particular patient is my sister, and she gave me permission to show these photos, and she was on a cheerleading squad, so she was uh, doing a, um, a routine and she actually got kicked in the face by one of her teammates. So. Uh, nothing happened for many, many years, and then all of a sudden we started to notice that there was some resorption happening on one of her teeth. So what is resorption? Well, it's basically where uh, an injury can happen and then the, the, the tooth starts to disappear up in the roots. So above the gums, in the bone, the tooth can start to disappear. So what was the plan? Well, the plan was to remove the tooth and then replace it with a dental implant. So they went ahead and did that. And what you'll see here are some photos of the before and after. So how practically did we get from the beginning to the end point? Well, the first part was make a good plan, work with a good partner, Team Perio, Dr. Blasingame did a great job in this case. And then we, you know, work with also our, our great lab. This particular lab was in Chasta Lake, Forrester Dental Lab. They We did a custom shade. Step number two, have the tooth removed and an implant placed and at that time I think they did some bone grafting and then in this particular case we actually extracted the tooth and then cut the root off of the tooth and used her actual tooth bonded to the adjacent teeth so glued to the adjacent teeth as a temporary. Pretty neat huh? Uh, it usually takes three to four months for the implant to heal and after the implant was healed we actually went ahead and removed the tooth piece. You know, it didn't have a root. It just was the top of the tooth glued to the next ones. And then we uh, attached a custom temporary to the implant crown. So why would we do a custom temporary crown? And what is a custom temporary? A custom temporary is a, so you have your implant and then you have a little bit of a, a piece of titanium base and then a plastic tooth. And the, the plastic tooth attached to the titanium base can screw into the implant. And the function of that is to shape the gums and to get the shape of the tooth sorted out. Also the color of the tooth and just, just to get, uh, think of it like a blueprint for the house. So if you're gonna build your forever home, I don't think you just go down to uh, Ace Hardware or, or you know Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a whole bunch of wood and just start like putting it together and being like, oh, I think the bedroom should go here and the bathroom and you know, it doesn't work out like that, I don't think. Uh, it wouldn't work out for me. So what we do is we use a custom temporary crown. It's uh, bits of titanium and mostly plastic to sort out those things. So you'll see pictures here of the custom temporary crown and that custom temporary crown, uh, you know, the shape isn't as perfect and the color isn't as perfect. And you'll see, I have photos of, um, of her, uh, her tooth from this side and the tooth from this side, and we want them to match, right? So we do different photo uh, photography techniques like having the photo be underexposed to show different characters of the teeth, etc. So we did that, and, um, and then eventually we made the final crown. And we actually had to do two revisions of the color on the final crown just to get it uh, as close to perfect as possible. Now, in dentistry, there's it's pretty easy to uh, be self-critical, etc., and just go, but, uh, you know, like, oh, this isn't, or that, you know, but overall, I think this result looks fantastic, and, you know, I see her all the time because she's my sister, and that tooth looks really, really great, so we're hoping it can be A-plus perfect for a super long time. It's the only restoration she has in her whole mouth. Uh, because her dad's a dentist and she follows instructions and brushes and flosses really well. But um, I, overall, the result is awesome, and uh, I was happy to help with it. My dad started the case, I finished the case, and uh, we were all just really happy to help her ha have her, her happy smile back. And um, Kendra, thank you for letting me show your case. And if you guys have any questions about you know, how that came together, you know, I was pretty brief about it, but if you have some questions, let me know uh, in the comments, I will answer them. And uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes on 
fixing a single dental implant from a cheerleading accident from 20 years ago. Pretty crazy. All right, you have a great day. Dr. Chris Nelson signing out.